Do you find yourself going to bed stressed and anxious and then waking up the next morning with even less motivation or less energy to actually wake up and go and crush your fitness goals? Well, if so, chances are that it may actually be related to some of the habits that you're doing the night before in the evening, as I said. So in today's video, I'm going to give you three evening habits that are actually going to improve your health, your well-being, and ultimately set yourself up for success. So let's dive into it right now. Now, the first evening habit I recommend that is massively going to improve your sleep quality in particular is actually having a shut-off time. Now, shut-off time is basically a time where you have a daily reminder or a daily alarm go off on your phone that tells you to come off all of your blue light devices so that could be your phone your laptop tv uh your pc etc uh, because as i said it's a habit i have <laughs> i'm still working on myself and i get all clients to do it as well because if we're actually on our phone like right before bed for example and obviously there's still blue light in our eyes if that makes sense so when we actually sense blue light from our eyes it's actually our brain then thinks that it's still daytime because of all the blue light um, so as I said if you're going to bed and your brain still thinks it's daytime when you want it to think it's nighttime to get to sleep that's why we can actually struggle to get to sleep and even develop things like insomnia because you know that one simple habit of still being on our phone before bed can actually impact our sleep quality massively so again having a shut off time helps massively um, I recommend having a shut off time an hour before bed so again for me I got a daily reminder on my phone and literally it pops up saying Jake it's shut off time man get off all your devices and you know start getting ready for bed right one thing I actually do in the evening is actually I have a blue light blocking glasses the first ones I actually got were these from Foxman's and I would put these on um, late evening time to again block all the blue light but again I've actually been recommended another set of glasses by my friend Tom Merrick the Body Warrior who you've probably heard of if you're actually watching my videos right from Blue Blocks right and these I wear a couple hours before bed and these completely block all of the blue light and the yellow light the green light all the lights you can think of um, and it mass these have massively improved my sleep so much and um, again the blocking the blue light investing in a set of blue light blocking glasses obviously these are cheap from Amazon these from blue blocks um, are a bit more expensive um, because obviously quality comes at a price you know what I'm saying but yeah having um, a blue light blocking glass help massively with obviously removing all the blue light from your eyes so again I can actually link them down in the description below with blue blocks I'm actually not affili affiliated with these um, at all they probably don't even know who I am um, but again it's like anything our health is not actually an expense it's an investment so yeah I can leave them in the description below um, if you're interested to check them out so now we've got a shut off time established now it's a case of like what do we do within the last hour of going to bed now obviously there's a lot we can do um, obviously that's something I could do in another topic comment below if you want to see that obviously reading a book is one in particular you can do but one that I'm going to cover in this video is planning your day the night before because if you fail to plan your plan to fail that's probably about the thousandth time you've probably heard that quote now but basically planning your day the night before is going to help you massively it's helped me massively because for me every time I wake up and I don't plan my day the night before I wake up like what on earth am I doing what on earth am I supposed to be doing <laughs> right whereas obviously plan my day the night before scheduling everything in it makes me wake up clear sense of energy and purpose and drive like right I know exactly what I need to get done the moment my eyes wake up when I wake up. So again, actually planning your week every Sunday obviously will help massively with actually knowing your priorities for the week. But I do recommend in particular some things to actually consider is obviously, you know, scheduling your meetings, scheduling in your deadlines, all of that, scheduling when you're gonna eat, and in particular, scheduling in when you're gonna work out. Because if you don't schedule in your workouts, it's not gonna get done, my friend. Obviously, I like to do pen and paper, the old school way of diary. Obviously, clients like to use Google Calendar and such. But yeah, it's like you can list the top three to five priorities that need to get done so you know exactly what to do the next day. And I said, if you can actually have a more productive day, obviously, you're gonna be less stressed, less anxious, you're gonna feel a lot better in yourself. And again, that's gonna help you actually be able to take care of yourself, your own health and well being. And also, as I said, it's like if you can take care of yourself more and be more productive in your own life, you also got more time in your life to focus on other things like, you know family time downtime relationships all that good stuff now the third and final habit you want to be doing before bed is reading and reviewing your goals because especially with the pandemic lockdown covid and everything it's like obviously naturally with everything on the news on social media everything it's like naturally it's all negative and the human mind is actually wired to focus on the negative anyway which isn't useful so if we actually go to bed 
with a negative state and a negative mindset, then actually, you know, that mindset is actually gonna follow through to the next morning. Whereas when you actually read and visualize your goals before bed, so if you look at your goals and your health, your fitness, your career, relationships, and other areas of life, naturally you actually put yourself in a much more positive and abundant mindset by actually focusing on the things you can control i.e. your life, as opposed to the other things you can't control, like you know what's going on around us in the world. For me personally, if I've had an unproductive day and you know I've had some negative BS or self-talk going on in my head, then naturally, as I said, it can put me in a pretty bad frame of mind before going to bed. Whereas obviously, when I look at my goals, look at what excites me and motivates me, especially you know having the goal of transforming 100,000 people and 100,000 bodies and lives, it's like that makes me freaking motivated. That brings me the fuel and desire to actually, you know, wake up every morning with a sense of purpose and like freaking let's freaking go and get it, right? So we all got get different goals, we all got different desires. What I would say is honestly goals on pen and paper, written on paper are much more meaningful and we're actually much more likely going to achieve them. And I personally have seen a massive difference in my daily energy, my daily mood when I actually read and visualize my goals the night before versus when I actually do do them, right? So looking at when I don't do them and when I do do them, I see a massive difference in how I ultimately feel myself. So again, if you really want to sleep better, stress less, and live better with more daily energy, then again, I definitely consider writing your goals down on pen and paper and reviewing them every evening. You can even do them in the morning as well, of course. And so as those are the free evening habits covered, by all means, give them a try, comment below what you think, and I'd love to know, right? In the meantime, if you have actually enjoyed this video, by all means, give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe, of course, if you haven't already, because I make new videos every single week to help you transform your body or improve your health and transforming your lifestyle as well and yeah as well if you um, are actually interested I have actually put together a free skinny fat guide that covers a comprehensive workout plan and diet plan to actually again get out of the skinny fat look permanently and achieve the beach body physique desire and again this is something I've actually put more in a text format so if you are actually interested in receiving that by all means actually check out in the description my social links Facebook Instagram and email all you gotta do is just send me a message, just making sure that you've come from this video and that you actually want the skinny fat guide and I'll send it right over and message it right directly to your inbox, right? So, as I believe that's everything covered, I'm actually gonna get in my beauty sleep and apply these even habits as we speak. It's only uh, 12.20 p.m. in the afternoon, but you know, whatever, right? See you in the next video, much love, appreciate you. Keep moving forward.